the head of Microsoft, Bill Gates, promised to rid the world of junk emails or spam. Within two years, an estimated 12 billion spam emails arrive in computer inboxes every day. Alpen horns were once the main way of communicating between Swiss mountain villages. They might not have been very effective, but at least they didn't have the problems now bedeviling more high-tech methods of communication. Users of this internet cafe in the Swiss ski resort of Davos are as frustrated as anyone else by an avalanche of unwanted emails. Spam, advertising everything from medical products to pornography. Now Microsoft's Bill Gates is promising to beat the spam menace within two years, telling the World Economic Forum here there'll be new programs filtering out both spam and the computer viruses they often carry. In both the case of spam and virus, uh, we need to make sure that people who are doing these illegal actions, they are brought to account. At the same time, we need to make it dramatically more difficult uh, for these people. The political and business leaders meeting here know 40% of all emails are spam, slowing down the internet, damaging companies. But one expert told me stopping spam's only half the problem. I don't think that's that radical an approach in comparison to talking about getting rid of viruses, which is truly a mammoth task and one that I, I don't think that Microsoft will be able to succeed at. But a swift breakthrough would be welcome. I've just received 66 spam emails. Finding a way of blocking them wouldn't just be highly popular. For Microsoft, it could also be very profitable. Jonathan Charles, BBC News, Davos.